welcome to the Fiber Fables Knitting Podcast. My name is Faith and I'm a knitter, spinner, uh, fibers enthusiast living here in Kansas and this is my space where I talk all about my knitting and uh, yarn related things. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as the.redhead.knits and my Ravelry is Knits by Faith. Everything will be linked down below as well as any patterns that I talk about um, and other things like that. So today I just have a regular podcast. I have a few finished objects, all of my whips to talk about, and I have a lot of future plans to discuss as well. So I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'll mention is what I'm wearing. This is my modified lane loop tee by Other Loops. Um, it features a two by one rib up here and it continues through the raglan and it's also on the sleeve but I chose to um, just take that out I just wanted a simple uh, knitted t-shirt the yarn I used is Haiku by Scassel Highland Lux which is 90% Andean Highland wool and 10% mohair and the color faded denim um, I would recommend this yarn it's really soft um, it's really lightweight, uh, but it is quite warm. Um, but no, that's what I'm wearing today. So my two finished objects are sweaters. So the first one I'll talk about is the dad sweater by Emily Curtis. This end is woven in, but it's uh, not snipped because um, even though it is obvious where the back is, I would just like to know okay anyway um yeah this is the dad sweater by emily curtis i forgot to get my notes out hold on okay. so i'm gonna be looking over here because i have my notes set up so i'm sorry if that's a little distracting but i knit size three i'll put measurements over here i don't know them off the top of my head um i use loops and threads lux merino which is an um a merino acrylic blend um, in the color raindrops and I used how much 1,283 yards and so that's about so I used three full skeins but I only used 13 grams of the fourth skein that I bought um, but yeah, I started this December 22nd, 2023, and I finished it April 26, 2024. So it took me a long time to knit for some reason. Um, it's very long. Um, I'll put in a shot of me wearing it so you can see how it fits. I really like that there's short row shaping in the sleeves. Um, overall, like it's a nice, it's a nice pattern. There's a lot of things to do though, especially for the sleeves. Um, there obviously are sleeve decreases. Um, but I don't know, I just thought there was just a lot going on in this pattern, um, sleeve wise, and like right off the bat, there was just a lot of things to do. Um, but I would knit this again, and I actually have plans to knit it again. And I'm gonna do a quick calculation of how much this. So in total, this project cost me $48.96. The pattern is $9 and the yarn was $38.96 um, USD. So yeah, I really like this sweater. I haven't worn it yet because I haven't showed it on the podcast and I wanted it to still be um, nice. Um, but yeah, The Dad Sweater by Emily Curtis. My next finished object is my Sheep Camp Sweater by Jennifer Berg. I started this on March 4th, 2024, and I finished it May 4th, so it took two months. Yeah. I knit size three. Um, as I said, measurements will be listed somewhere on the screen, and I'll put in video of me wearing it. So the yarn I used is Blue Sky Fibers Woolstock Worsted. I used 541.2 yards for the main color, which is Loon Lake. And then I used 147.6 yards in the spring ice color for the contrast. 
Um, so this was really fun to knit. It kind of went by. The color work is easy to memorize. Um, and I was considering adding some color work to the bottom of the sweater and on the sleeves. But I just decided not to. <laughs> um, but no, if you've never tried Blue Sky Fibers Wool Stock Worsted, I would 100% recommend this yarn. It softens up a lot um, after washing and it blooms really nicely. And I just, it's a wonderful yarn to work with. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it for cables. I have knit something with cables in it. Um, and it just, the heatheredness of the yarn doesn't show up too great on cables, but if you are using color work, like it's perfect. Or just a simple um, stockinette uh, project. <laughs> um, so I used the 50 gram skeins for this. Um, and I bought eight, I put in the total like skeins, but I'll put, I'll double check and put it over here, but um, I would highly recommend knitting, knitting this sweater. Um, let me find out how much it cost me. In total, this project cost me $113. Uh, the pattern's $13 and the yarn cost me about $103. Um, so yeah, it was pretty expensive for a sweater, um, but the wool is very high quality, very squishy, soft, um, and comfortable to wear too. Um, so yeah, that's my sheep camp sweater. And I really love the two by two rib at the hems of everything. Um, I don't see too many sweaters that have that most, I feel like most sweaters have a one by one rib or a twisted rib and it's kind of fun to do a two by two rib every once in a while. Okay, so now we are going to talk about all of my works in progress. Um, starting from oldest to newest. We have my Afro sweater, okay? <laughs> and it's in my cowgirl yarn bag. And I started this October 23rd and I'm nearly done with it. Can you believe that? Um, so, I got an entire sleeve done. Here's where I was last time we talked. And then I also got the I-cord on the neck done and I picked up for the last, well, the second sleeve. And my yarn is stuck. If you can hear that crunching noise, that's Terry eating. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm knitting size four on a 3.75 millimeter needle and I'm using Mountain Metal Wool Saratoga. So far I've used a thousand yards. This is my fifth skein and I have one more left and this is in the color grass. I'm not gonna say really anything else about this. I've been talking about it for a long time, but I love, I tried this on and I can't wait for this to be done. The sleeves are squishy. It, I'm excited. So I also have another Irene Lynn. That, the Afro sweater is by Irene Lynn and I have another Irene Lynn pattern on my needles as well. And it's the Una sweater, which is getting really big. <laughs> I started this on February 10th and I am knitting size four. And the yarn I'm using is the same yarn that I used to knit this. It's Haiku by Scassel, their Highland Lux, and the color Mist. So far I've used three skeins and I have three more, including this one. So I haven't measured how far I am on the body, but let's find the progress cube. So I was here last time and I got this much of the body done. And I actually picked up for one of the sleeves. Um, just to see how much yarn it'll take. And um, I noticed I was kind of going through yarn quickly, especially since I'm knitting on the body now and it's a lot of stitches. So I think what I'm going to do is knit both sleeves and then finish up 
the body with whatever I have left. I want to knit this to 12 inches. Did I actually shorten that? I don't know. I might be knitting it to either 8 inches under the arm or 12. And then doing the rib. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not sure how far I'm at under the arm now. And I haven't tried it on either. So, yeah, this is my Una sweater, and I'm very excited for it to be done. Because I think this would be nice to wear to work. Um, because the dress code is business casual. So that means I get to wear my knits to work, and I'm so excited. I have my Birds of a Feather shawl. Which, for some reason, has been like hard for me to work on. For some reason, even though I think I just have a few more sections to go and I'll be done pretty much. Uh, but let's find my progress key. So here's where I was last time and that's how far I've gotten now. So I started this February 18th. Um, it's been so much fun to work on. It's just I don't. I love the way the mohair looks. Let me back up so you can really see this. I love the way the mohair looks. I just don't like knitting with a single strand of mohair because I have to knit really loose because when I first started, I was knitting the mohair really tight, like how I would with the regular merino. And it was really hard to knit. So I was like, oh, I have to knit it looser. Otherwise, like I'm not gonna be able to knit this so yeah this this is what it's looking like so far and I'm at the point where I'm not increasing on this side but decreasing so yeah I can't wait for this to be done it's almost it's nearly finished I have a few more I think I have, after this, I have one more lace section and then a mohair and then a garter stitch and then a lace and then the border, I believe. So it should, should be done in the next month or so. I don't know. <laughs> um, so this is the Birds of a Feather by Andrew Mowry. And the yarn I'm using is Fuzzy Peach Fibers uh, Soft Sock, which is a 75, um, a 75 25 and the her okay <laughs> her um mohair and the color is gumson and i just love this color so much i think i'm only going i might have to break into my second skein of this and i'll use the rest for a hat and then i have a third skein of this that i'm going to use for socks because this yarn is just beautiful and i want to know what it looks like in stockinette and then i'll have i don't think i'll need to touch uh my other two skeins of mohair so i think i'm going to hold those together and make a hat in mittens or something um but yeah, I'm starting my gift knits for Christmas and stuff in August, which is going to be coming up faster than I thought it would. Um, so I'm thinking of yarns that I can use for that already. Um, but no, I'm very excited for this to be done. Like now that I'm seeing it grow and get bigger, I'm just, I'm so excited to wear it and to style it too. And there are a decent amount of ends to weave in. So what I'm doing is I, um, as I join yarns, like the mohair and the merino, um, I tie them together and then that's just how I'm gonna weave them in. So that way I don't have to weave in twice as much. I can just weave them both in held together in these little um, thicker sections right here. And I know some people struggle with weaving in ends. Before I block and before I do anything else with a knitted project when it's finished, before I block it, I always weave in the ends. I don't really care how many there are, but to allow myself to block it and to wear it, I always weave in the ends and then snip them when it's done blocking. So if you struggle with weaving in ends or finding the motivation, 
maybe try, uh, I mean, not that I want to tell you what to do, but what I do is I weave them all in before I block. Like, I make myself weave them in before <laughs> I block the project. Now I have mohair stuck to my face. <sighs> I have my waffle loop sweater. Buy other loops. I started this March 2nd, 2024, and I'm knitting size 2. And the yarn I'm using is Cloudborn Fibers Superwash Merino Worsted Twist. So far I've used three skeins and this is the color Mulberry. So this is where I was last time. I showed you guys a part of the sleeve and I finished the sleeve. So I did modify this. So this, these decreases are supposed to be on the top. I don't like that. Why? First of all. Um, <laughs> so I started them at the beginning of the round. So what I did is I knit one and then did a decrease, knit all the way around till there were three stitches left, did a decrease, and then knit one. So that way there's just these two knit stitches in between. Um, but yeah, the sleeve is just knit in this mindless waffle texture that's up here on the top part of the yoke. And I did long ribbing. This is the length of the ribbing that's going to be on the hem of the sweater and also on the collar. Um, so I'll be able, since it is like you fold it outwards instead of inwards, um, the collar will kind of look like that, or it tends to roll up when you wear it, or a little bit like that. I don't know. Um, so one sleeve took a whole ball of this yarn, and I believe I have three more not including this one. So I'm going to finish this skein on the body. And then I'm going to knit the collar and then the other sleeve and we're gonna see how much I have left to knit the body because I want to knit this, like the pattern until it measures 13 inches under the arm and then do the ribbing. But I might change that because this ribbing is quite long. So I might knit it to like 11 inches measured under the arm and then do the ribbing because I prefer longer sweaters. Um, I'm not a big fan of oversized, but cropped things. So um, yeah, not very far underneath the arm. So yeah, I'm a little worried about yarn, but um, I think if I just finish this and start on the other things, like the collar and the sleeve, I think I'll be fine. And I can just see where I'm at then. My next project is one that I'm focusing on today. The day I'm filming is Wednesday. Um, my boyfriend was here all weekend. He had his four days off for work and he was here and I still don't like filming around him. So I was, I usually film on Sundays and then Anyway, <laughs> this is my Moonset tee, and I started this on March 11th, and I'm knitting size medium, and the yarn I'm using is Knotty Pine Fiber Co. Bighorn Sock in the color Whiskey River, and so far I've used one skein, so I've joined everything in the round this morning, actually, um, and this is how far I got. There you go. Um, yeah, so, so far I've used one skein, which is crazy that that's, this is how far I got with one skein. I did sew down the back of the neck almost immediately because I, I wanted to, I, it was bothering me that there was, it was just flapping around, so it doesn't look very neat, um, but it, it's sewed down, that's all that matters. Um, I don't like that it's like, this is what it's doing. You can see where it just creates like a fold right here. I don't know. It's not laying flat. That's what's going on. I don't know if it's because I sewed it down too tight, but it's probably not going to bother me that much. Um... 
but yeah, Moonset Tea. I don't really have too much to say. It's an all over stockinette project on 3.25 millimeter needles. And I am wildly off gauge. Well, I think I'm just a few stitches over and a few rows under, I think. I It'll be fine, I think. We'll see. The next project that I have to talk about is my fortune sweater by Petite Knit. I started this on March 18th and I'm knitting the medium size. And so far I've used 765 yards. So I've joined my second skeins of Surrey and non superwash merino from Zakami Yarns. And this is in the color Kaliach, which is a beautiful copper color and I love it. Um, so this is how far I am. This is where my progress keeper was last time we talked. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So I have a decent amount done underneath the arm here. And I, Terry's playing and scratching the table. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, I can't wait to block this so that you can see the, f the um, eyelets. I was doing them wrong for the yoke and then like I actually looked at the pattern and I'm doing them somewhat right now. I don't know, but this is a really soft sweater. Um, very soft. I can't wait to wear it. I'm excited for the three quarter length sleeves. This is going to look so good when it's done. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so you, I've used one skein of each already um really fun to work on i look at the chart for the eyelets because i'm scared if i don't i'm gonna mess something up um but the stockinette sections are they go by too fast but the eyelets are easy you do an eyelet and then you knit one row and then you do the eyelets then you knit one row and then you do the eyelets and then you knit x amount of rows it's it's really easy but that's my fortune sweater. I have a test knit to talk about and I'm in the middle of the row. So let's just, I don't, this is just gonna look weird showing it, okay? So this is the Brara Pullover Light by Brianna Mason. I started this on April 1st and I have to finish it in 10 days. And I'm not even done with the body yet. I'm knitting size three. And well, as you can see, I'm pretty much done with the body. I just have, well, I'm doing the split hem. So apparently there's this ribbing detail on the split hem that I think was supposed to be in the first Brora pullover that I knit, the heavier weight version, um, that I just didn't do because I was like, ooh, the split hem, I can do that. So I just, did whatever I wanted um, but so what you do is you split and you knit the rib and do some decreases and work stockinette and then when you do all your decreases you just knit everything in rib so it has this um, I don't know if it's really showing up well on camera but it has like this pretty neat edge right here and it's also on the other side um, if I wasn't in the middle of the row, it'd be easier to show it, but, um, yeah. So the back is way longer than the front by, I think by two inches, but, um, which will be nice because I am allowed to wear leggings to work. I just have to have something that fully covers my bum bum. <laughs> um, so I'll be able to wear this to work, but the yarn I'm using is Jody Long Airspun. And the color sapphire and it's this self striping kind of thing which i was very unsure about but i've had this yarn since july of last year like this was one of the first things i bought when i went to cowgirl yarn, cowgirl yarn when i was living in wyoming um i've used two skeins so far this is a half skein and I have the other half skein in there because I hold I held those two together for my list toque. Um, 
but yeah. So I just have to finish this back um, ribbing and then I'll move on to the front and then I can just knock out the sleeves. Um, so yeah, this is very oversized as you can see. Um, and I, I don't have a stripy sweater, so I think this will be, I think this will be fine. It's a little out of my comfort zone, but I'm still gonna wear it because it's really pretty. But I need to finish this by May 25th. So I've been working on this every other day and I didn't get a lot of time to work on this yesterday. Like that's how much I got done yesterday because I had to drive to Wichita for a psych evaluation and then I had to drive back and the drive to Wichita is three hours and 30 minutes. But yeah, that's my, this is my Aurora Pullover Light coming to you soon. I have my Anchor Tee by Petite Knit that I started on April 3rd and I'm knitting the size medium. And it's not on needles because um, my three, so I've been stealing needles from projects to work on my project of the day kind of thing. So this needs a 3.5 millimeter needle, but my 3.5 millimeter needles on my Una sweater. So I steal those from that and put my Una sweater on yarn and then use the 3.5 millimeter needles for this. And then it, when I need to work on my Una sweater, I steal the needles from here and put this on spare yarn, okay? It's the process. But this really shows you how big it is and what it's gonna look like on me. So, yeah, I'm almost done with the yoke. I just have to finish this little rib section and then I do a little bit of raglan increases and then I think what I'm going to do after the raglan increases, I'm going to add short rows, which I think is going to be easy. So when I'm so here's my beginning of round back here where you can see this little marker. Well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to knit a little bit, probably 20 stitches make a double stitch and go back until it's 20 stitches past the beginning of round marker and then purl until I think three stitches past the marker and just do that for however many times I want so that way the short row short rows will also kind of go over the shoulders too which I think is also very important when it comes to shaping garments and stuff so that's probably what I'm going to do short rows wise because uh, I don't want to have to deal with them under the body because what that's just going to do is lengthen the back of the body but I want more shaping for the shoulders and for like the rest of my back. I don't know. Um, but here's my progress keeper from last time and that's how far I got. So I really like working on this project. I want a million of these in every single color that's ever existed. There's just something about this that just scratches an itch in my head and I, I love it. The yarn I'm using is Patton's Linen. So far I've used one skein. This is my second skein, which that's a lot. So this yarn gets you, it gets you where you need to go, okay? I don't know why I said that. This is in the color Sweet Potato. You can buy this yarn on Joann's and I believe, so this is a Yarnspirations brand, so I think you could go online at Yarnspirations and just click on the Patton's logo and you, they have their whole selection of yarns. They have a really thick blown yarn that I really want, unfortunately. I think it's like 50% acrylic, 30% wool, and like 20% nylon but it's beautiful, okay? I'm not sure how many colors they have of this, but on Joann's, there was a poppy red color, like a cerulean, like slate blue color, white, a really pale yellow, like the wall, kind of. Um, just, they have pretty colors. They don't have a lot, at least on the Joann's website, but Get this yarn, okay? It's nice.
have another champagne cardigan on the needles. And here's my pro. Whoa, I got a lot done. Here's my progress keeper from last time. I've been taking this project um, with me whenever we've been like driving anywhere. We had to drive to Lamar the other day, which is a two hour drive. So most of the work has been done on this from driving and stuff. So I started this on April 9th. I'm in the middle of the row, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm knitting the medium size with petite knit. I guess I just knit the medium size, so. I'm using Blue Sky Fibers Woolstock Worsted in the color Wild Time, which is this beautiful foresty green color. And I changed my mind at how far I'm going to knit this at the underarm. This has a four inch long ribbing. And I originally was going to knit this to 12 inches measured under the arm, which would give me 16 inches under the arm. And that's a kind of a long cardigan. So what I'm doing is I'm knitting to 10 inches or 11 inches measured under the arm. So that way it'll still be a decent length for me. Um, and, and instead of having the three buttons that's in the pattern, I'll be having four and I'm going to make the buttonholes smaller because I have smaller buttons for this. I'm running out of my bigger wooden buttons that I typically use for cardigans, but um, yeah, so far I've used one skein. I'm using the 150 gram skeins for this, but yeah, I'm nearly done with the body and then I'll do the ribbing and then a sleeve and then I'll pick up for the double knit button band and then finish off the other sleeve. And for the double knit button band, what I like to do with buttonholes is I like to bind off stitches and then on the next row, cast them back on. I don't want to have to split it in half. That's just not my thing. And I think I could easily control, um, I think it'd be a little more easier to control how big the buttonhole should be. So what I think I'm going to do is just cast off two stitches. And I think that'll give me a smaller buttonhole. So yeah, that's my champagne cardigan. By Petite Knit. I have another test knit that I'm doing for uh, Rihanna from Woolbird Knits. This is the Alino T. Terry, can you not? Let's just get down. I'm knitting size three. Terry, stop. And I'm using Lion Brand Kobu in the color olive. So far I've used one skein, which has gotten me that far kind of, I don't know. I don't remember where I joined this, but it's all somehow fitting on a 24 inch uh, interchangeable needle. So yeah. <laughs> Here's my progress keeper from last time and I'm now joined in the round and I think I'm knitting it to 10 inches measured under the arm and then doing ribbing. I'm going to reach out to the designer and ask her if I can just lengthen the ribbing by a little bit because I'm not a fan of short ribbing. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to finish this by June 1st, which is totally doable. Um, I'm excited to wear this. It's been getting extremely hot here and I would, I just want my summer knits to be done like right now, but I also want to knit with wool at the same time. So I'm just conflicted. So I don't know. So I have another shawl to show you and it's the Pure Joy Shawl by Hohi Locatelli. And I started this on April 18th. And I'm not in the middle of a row, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, the yarn I'm using is Blackbird Sycamore Yarn Super Sock, which is a 7525. Um, and I'm still on my first skein. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So this is what it's... Oh. This is kind of what it's looking like so far. Um, you increase more on one side 
then you do the other because you're using short rows to shape these little garter stitch wedges as you can see um, let me just so here yeah all the eyelets kind of meet here but then they just grow outwards as you can see I'm trying to hold this up against me so you can kind of see what's going on yeah um, and they just get bigger and bigger as you go so I have this repeat left to do and then I'm doing another row of eyelets and then um, I have the last wedge to do that's what they're called in the pattern but so really just two more wedges to do and I'll be done with this um so the pattern does say to use a different colored yarn for the eyelets and then on the sixth wedge you do all of that in the color that you used for the eyelets I just wanted this shawl to be in this elevated colorway that's the color of this yarn is ele it's elevated I think you can still get it I think I think Blackbird Sycamore's yarn is kind of like a dyed to order thing I'm not 100% sure um, but I would highly recommend you check out her yarn she has beautiful hand dyed just it's amazing and she made this colorway for me and Abby but yeah I absolutely love this color and it's knitting up amazing like it's with this specific project since there are short rows there's not a whole lot of color pooling um well maybe there is I don't know I can't really tell while I'm knitting with it but the garter stitch just makes it um sorry I'm kind of using my boobs to show you but um yeah I don't know it looks pretty the garter stitch just melts all the colors together and it just looks like a giant watercolor painting and I love it and I can't wait for this to be done I have no clue how I'm gonna style it because I don't have a lot of um clothes in my wardrobe that are these um I don't want to say primary colors but just these bright colors but I think I could find something so we'll see here's a better kind of look at the yarn um I'm not sure if I even have to touch this skein, so if I don't, I'm going to make a stockinette hat for myself and maybe mittens. And then I have another skein that I'm going to be using for socks. And I have a pair of socks to show you. I'm not sure where I was last time I showed them. But I'm on the heel flap of my second sock. And here's what the first one looks like. So, yeah. This is, well, I started these on April 24th, and it's a self-drafted pattern. I'm using Knitted Wit, um, her sock base, and in the color Bryce Canyon National Park. So it's kind of like a little micro-stripe deal situation thing. Um, yeah, it's it's really pretty. And I can't wait to have another pair of socks to wear. Um, yeah, I thought I lost something, sorry. Um, nothing really much to say, it's just a pair of socks. I'm hosting a knit along for the Fiola by Isabel Kramer. And my feelings are kind of hurt because not a lot of people, it didn't get the response I wanted it to get. Um, so really only my friends have joined the knit along, which is totally fine. I'm happy that my friends support me and whatever. But I thought I was making it accessible because like it's a size inclusive pattern. And I talked with the designer about having like a discount code and stuff and still no one wanted to join. And there are a lot of prizes that have been donated. 
and there's like five people doing the middle one. So, but anyway. Uh, this is how much I got done. Everything's joined in the round. And everything's joined in the round and split for sleeves. But I'm so off gauge. So I'm a tight knitter, which means my projects will turn out smaller if I don't change what needle I'm using. So the pattern calls for a 3.75 millimeter needle, and that's what I'm using. But I'm using a fingering weight yarn. But I've just barely split for sleeves. Like, I just cast on stitches at the underarm. This is small. It goes to here. And I know if I keep going without changing anything, it's not going to fit over here without, like, it's gonna, like, my bra is gonna be showing. So. <sighs> this is going to be my next project coming up well it's gonna it's coming up on what I'm going to be knitting on this again soon so I'm wondering if I should just rip back and do several more increases for the sleeves and body or if I should just keep going but increase for the body and just do a straight sleeve without any decreases until I get to the cuff. I'm thinking that's what I might do because that's where like my issues are is like I'm not worried about the sleeves. If I have a tighter sleeve then I'm okay with that um, or if I have to knit them straight I'm totally fine with that. I'm just more worried about the body and having um, enough fabric to go over my body and the chest and stuff so we'll see what i end up doing the yarn i'm using is blackbird sycamore again in the color rose i started this on april 27th and i'm knitting size three so yeah this yarn i mean this project isn't on needles because i did try it on but i've been keeping the needles with the project so i don't accidentally use these for something else but yeah that's my fiola you can still join uh the discount code isn't active anymore um but this knit along is running until june 4th um you don't have to finish the sweater by then um but if you do um uh, and if you want to enter to win prizes you can use um the hashtag fiola cal 24 um in your instagram post um, or and you can tag me in that too. Um, I'm the only one hosting this knit along. You don't have to tag anyone else. And my last work in progress to show you is a new cast on. Uh, it's my Dunes cardigan. I don't know if I talked about it in my last podcast. I don't think I did. I think I just talked about it in my vlog. Um, but I'm using Patton's Classic Wool Worsted in the color Natural Mix. And I started this on May 1st. And what is going on? I'm knitting the medium size and so far I've used one skein um, so that's what it's looking like I just got to the lace portion of this the little lace repeat right here and I'm going to do so I knit it to five inches measured under the arm and just stuck in it and I'm going to do five repeats of the lace, and then I'm going to do the ribbing. Um, and then I'm going to pick up for a sleeve. I've been, no, I'm gonna do the lace on the sleeve. It has the same motif of lace on the sleeve, but at the very end. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then uh, pick up for the button band and then do this other sleeve, but yeah, I don't have too much to say. Um, this is pretty much the part where I was last time, last year in October or November when I knit this and I didn't get past this point because I kept messing up the lace. Um, but I've done all the increases that I need to do and I'm at the right stitch count for the lace. So I don't think we should run into any more trouble. But I'm excited to have this done. 
it will be quite a cropped cardigan, um, which is what the pattern is. It's a cropped cardigan. Um, and as we know, I like to, um, I like to have garments that are longer just because I am taller, but I do want this to be a little bit cropped so I can wear it with skirts, dresses, um, pants and stuff and like it'll look nice. So I'm excited for this to be done. And I think I'm going to use this um, in the make along hosted by Stitch Witchcraft, the year of the cardigan make along. Um, so I'll probably be posting this on Instagram soon with that hashtag, so yeah. So that's all of my works in progress to show you. I have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to talk about some of my future plans. So I'm going to be knitting another cumulus blouse. <sighs> the last one I knit was very cropped and it was in a hand dyed yarn. Um, and I want, like the cumulus blouse, it's a longer body and it has longer sleeves. Um, and I didn't have enough yarn to do that um, with my cumulus blouse that I knit a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to knit it again in this Drops Kid Silk. It, this is in the color Soft Mint, I believe. Um, so I'm going to hold these two together. I have more than just these two. I have 214 grams. And for my size, the pattern calls for 200 grams. So I think I'll be able to knit this um, the way the pattern says to knit it. Um, so this is going to be one of my next cast-ons is the Cumulus Blouse by Petit Knit. Next, um, I'm going to knit the Faye Summer Top by Irene Lynn in this Yarn Bee Bambooful, which is 100% viscose from bamboo in the color Cerulean Sea. So it's this beautiful slate green, not slate green, slate blue um, color. It's kind of almost the same color as this, not really, but the face summer top is going to be um, this. So I'm not sure when this is gonna get cast on, but it is going to be soon. So, and I think I'm going to be knitting this with Jenny from Honeybird Studio and Searsha from The Cozy Soul Knits. So I hope you guys are ready because I'm ready. I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. And okay. I have these two lace weight skeins from Malabrigo and it's in the color Forest. So this is 100% baby merino wool. Um, so I have two of these in there, 470 yards each. So I'm going to hold these together and make a fingering weight camisole. I'm just not sure which one because the only fingering weight camisoles that I have is camisole number eight by My Favorite Things Knitwear that I'm already going to be making in this purple color. And then I have the Ripple Bralette and the Summer Secret Crop, which I already have yarn for. So I might, if I don't end up buying another like camisole pattern, I'll probably just knit another Summer Secret Crop in this fingering weight because this is going to be my DK weight version. Um, this is Bull and Vine number nine, Smitten DK, 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon that I'm going to be using for Summer Secret Crop by Jessie Made. Oh wait, I'm supposed to tell you how long I've had these. This was given, well, I bought this from Abby in December, November. I don't know, she was destashing all of her yarn and I asked her, I was like, hey, like, I'll take all of it. So, um, that's when that's from. This I actually just bought recently when I moved here. Um, well, my boyfriend bought it for me. Um, so I had this, let me open up my Ravelry stash. Say when, oh, no. I got this March 20th, 2024. 
just when I got that. And then I've had this yarn. If you've been watching my videos since I started, you might recognize this. I bought this in July of last year from Wool Warehouse. And I was making cardigan number six, which I actually want to make again. Um, this was a failed cardigan number six. Um, so I've um, ripped out the yarn from that and I'm going to be using it for the Keemless Boss. So, let's go back. Okay. My next project is going to be a sweater. And I'm going to make the Stages Pullover by Tressa Widener. Um, that was made for Pearl Soho. So I'm using, I've said this before, I can't imagine that sweater in any other color than what was used in the pattern. So here's the main color. This is Pearl Soho Widgeon, which is 100% fine Falkland Merino. And it's 359 yards and 100 grams. And this is in the color Gray Mist. So this is the main color. Um, okay. And then this is Orange Carmine Curry or Yellow Curry. Yellow Curry. Hold on. And Blue Abyss. This is the yarn that was used in the stages pullover and I'm going to knit it. <laughs> I'm very excited. My boyfriend bought me this yarn and I've had it since March 25th of this year. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to knit this sweater for such a long time. Um, and now that I have the yarn for it, I can knit it. I'm excited. Okay. And my next yarn that I have to show you is old oh, well my next plan is going to be a ranunculus. Um I have some I love this cotton in the color ivory. I have five of them. And it's 180 yards for 100 grams. Um, I've had this since March 20th. And so what I'm going to do, so I've never knit a ranunculus before, but I know you can kind of like do whatever you want with that pattern. So I'll have to look at the sizes, but I know for sure I'm going to use a four millimeter needle for the twisted rib. And then I'm going to use a five millimeter for the body. So I think that means I might have to knit the smallest size. We'll see, it's a pretty oversized pattern. So we'll see what happens, but I am going to knit a ranunculus and I've said it before and I will say it again. The white ranunculi are the best versions I've ever seen of any ranunculus I've ever looked at. That didn't make sense, but you, you get what I'm saying. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm a little worried because I know cotton stretches out over time, but I think like, well, okay. So once you, in my experience, once you knit something with cotton and you machine dry it, there's no going back. There's no shrinking it. There's no making it bigger. There's no changing the shape. And I know that cotton stretches out over time. I don't know. We'll just have to deal with that when I finish it and I wear it. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Carrie, please go away. I don't want you to eat my yarn. This is literally why you came over here, okay? Go away. And the last plant that I have is something I'm really excited for and I can't stop thinking about it. It's the Vavika cardigan by My Favorite Things Knitwear. It's fisherman's rib or half fisherman's rib with the wrong side facing outward and it has little pockets on it. It's super oversized. I have six skeins 
of this Premier Yarns Stitch Please. It's 100% wool. And it's in the color Whoopsie Daisy. A white fisherman's rib cardigan is something that everyone needs in their life, okay? I don't think this is enough yarn because I know fisherman's rib takes up a lot of yarn, but I have 1,320 yards, so I think that could be enough. Um, I've had this in my stash since February 1st, 2024. Sorry, I keep crinkling the yarn, but... I'm really excited for this. I did have a, I do have a white mohair that I was thinking of holding with this because it does call for a six millimeter needle. Um, but this white is a little too yellow pink and the white mohair that I have is like, boom, like white, like bleached white. And I didn't think it was gonna go too great with that and I'm not going to swatch it. So we're just gonna do the Vivica cardigan with this and I'm going to use that mohair for something else. But I'm very excited because I can style this with literally anything, jeans, a skirt, shorts, leggings, a dress, anything. And it's just gonna look good with everything. Um, I haven't picked out buttons for it yet because it's probably gonna be a while before I get around to it. Um, and I'm expecting my um, knitting process to slow down a little bit. Well, like finishing things and getting things casted on. I think that's going to slow down a little bit since I started working. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to this, but we'll see. Okay, so... I've noticed that I have that I am a tight knitter and I think I misspoke in my last video when I said that because I'm a tight knitter my projects are going to end up bigger that literally made no sense I'm sorry you had to listen to that <laughs> so I think what I'm going to start doing because I don't gauge swatch okay um I just go with whatever the project is doing okay um so I think what I'm going to start, what I am going to start doing is going up half a needle size or a full needle size if I don't have that needle available. And we're going to see if that helps anything. So yeah, I'm happy I found that out. I don't know. But <laughs> that's all the knitting I have to talk about. Um... And pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got some inspiration from my future plans and just what I'm working on. Um, I really like making these podcasts. Um, they're super fun. The next video that I'm going to be uploading is a knit and chat but I'm not sure what to talk about. Um, so I will be asking on Instagram if anyone has any topics that they'd like me to do that they would like me to discuss. Um, you can also feel free to leave them in the comments of this video. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, and that'll be coming to you next week. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.